Welcome back. Have you ever stared at your closet and felt like you have nothing to wear? Well, today I'm giving you an ultimate fall capsule wardrobe that is going to blow your mind. I'm also going to give you stores which to purchase them at. I'm also going to give you more, just not just the basics, but more, pe more pieces to add to your wardrobe staples that can honestly make more than a hundred outfits quickly and easy. Also, this isn't just going to take you from fall this or fall and winter. This is definitely going to take you into early spring, all the items I'm going to share. So some of you might already have, and I'm also going to add to that more pieces that you might not have that will also elevate every outfit that you want to try to put together. So let's get started. Okay, so my first one is like layering tank. Layering pieces like tanks underneath blazers, jackets, even under sweaters, uh, any type of layering outfit. So you're, want to, you're gonna want a super loose fit tank top, and you're also gonna want fitted tank tops for different purposes. If you want something under like a tank top and it's not like here it doesn't get really really cold so sometimes we want that's kind of what i have on I have like a tank top a fitted one and there and sometimes when you wear a blazer or a jacket or a jean jacket or something like that you don't always want sleeves because it does get so hot here so it definitely a fitted tank top or a, a also a flowy tank top and not what i mean by flowy it's not more like this one's a more of a tighter fit and i also have some looser fit ones that look good with blazers and can be tucked into jeans and look really good some places to be to be on the lookout uh gap is a great place 100 percent cotton i love their organic cotton ones target what else i have up, so if you want to elevate a little bit more j crew made well Banana Republic. Also look at Banana Republic Factory or J. Crew Factory. Those are great to get some basics. And Aritzia. Now, I've said many times on this channel, I don't buy a lot of expensive white things. And that is because I literally get stained on them all the time. I don't know how that is, but I do. So the other day I had, funny story, I had a high neck like tank on. And I had a sweater so you could kind of see like the white tank at the or the white top at the because I was wearing I think a like a black sweater or something. I kind of wanted to break it break it up. Anyways, I don't know. It wasn't makeup. It was like like food or something. Anyways, you know, it's just like never ending with me and white. I absolutely love white. I just feel like I get something on it all the time. You can also lay it under your sweater. It looks really nice. Um, to have that little half inch, 10 inch stick out from your sweaters. It kind of breaks up, especially if it just looks a little bit more elevated. A white tee with a sweater, some necklaces, jeans, a belt, and some black boots or brown boots. Quintessential, easy outfit to put together. Just adding that extra tank top, even if it's you know, you have a navy top and putting a gray top underneath looks great. So start off with the layering tanks that you can put underneath and also underneath blazer. So some of those are great stores. You want it to be also just neutral colors, gray, blacks, whites, navies, khakis, any of those kind of like a khaki green color, even any of those kind of colors are going to be your staple colors you can wear with anything. Let's talk about tees. Now you got the tank tops. Now you want tees. You can have the thicker tees with the longer sleeves. Um, also v-necks are just a little bit more flattering to wear with different things. It just kind of elongates, it shows a little bit more skin. For fall and winter, we kind of cover up everything. And sometimes it doesn't look proportional when all your skin is covered, even like you're wearing boots and all you have is your skin on your hands. So that's why sometimes it's good to push up your sleeves or have some skin showing at the top. It kind of breaks up the eye and not look so, sometimes it can look a little flat looking. So a great V-neck and a high neck, any type of tee. You're also going to want like a more of a fitted tee and a thicker and a, I like more crop tees, honestly, and they go over my belly button and they're able to tuck, be tucked in and all that. Um, I just like a more of a boxier look and kind of do a little half tuck. 
um, some great places are again Gap, J. Crew, Madewell, Target. Any of those places have great teas, some basic teas. I think right now J. Crew has some of the really good thicker teas on sale for like $39. So pick up all the colors that you need. I would stick with the basics. I also would be adding in some type of stripe, either a black and white stripe, a navy and stripe. It's really important because you can even wear it underneath a blazer and it just looks a little, you know, like if you just don't want to wear white or black or gray tee. Elevating it one level with a striped t-shirt, a nicer material t-shirt always elevates an outfit and it looks good. You get the point. Basic tees go with everything, but add that extra striped tee in there. You'll thank me later. I'm telling you, you can add it to a lot of things. Okay, number three, let's talk about the button downs. Most of you probably have a white button down in, but we need to add to that. We need like a powdery blue button down. We also need a striped button down, any kind, a navy and white, a green and white, a pink and white. You just need some kind of stripe in there. I would also suggest you to look for different type of button downs that have collars with ruffles on them or something they look great under blazers peeking out with the blazers with no collars on them they look great peeking out of that or a ruffle a ruffle sleeve looks great when you push up the sleeve those little things like that just a little element like that will always elevate your outfit it looks a little bit more put together than a basic white tee. I will also say to have a more fitted one if you wanna wear them under like sweaters or something like that. You also need a basic um, chambray or denim, okay? You also need that. So those are your main ones that you need that can take you all the way through spring. Um, not just your basic, but I think, I think just adding the blue, the stripe, and something with some kind of element that's a little different, those will set you apart from everybody else. Number four, statement tops. A lot of y'all might not be thinking statement tops, but I think you need statement tops, hence the one I got on now, for times that going out with girlfriends or last minute, you know, at night, you just want one of those tops that you can throw with jeans or you can throw with a pair of trousers or you can throw with a skirt and you feel like it's a nighttime level type shirt. I love bows. Um, so th and this is sheer. I have a tank underneath this completely sheer in the back. I absolutely love it. I got it at Zara years ago. I've worn so many occasions. I've worn it with jeans that are, you know, have holes in them and ripped up with nice black tall heels. Um, I've worn it with black trousers. It looks really nice going out. You can wear it in many different ways. So the, the statement tops I'm talking about are something maybe like off the shoulder like this, where both your shoulders are showing, a one shoulder, those will always look good. Obviously, black, cream, white, navy, burgundy, something like that, that you can literally put on with a pair of pants or skirt and then call it an evening going out statement top. Also, anything with the halter neck that always makes women look, I, I don't have the best arms by any means, but it always just makes women look just, I love it. I love this part that shows off women. I think that's very elegant looking. I think it's very sexy. And a lot of women don't think that. I do. I think it looks great. So anything sheer, I love sheer as like any kind of statement top at night. It also just like a sheer top. I could wear a bralette underneath with a blazer and some jeans and some loafers. That looks really good. It looks like it's going out like evening. So you went from business to going out in the evening. You know, I love anything kind of sheer. Places I would look for that. Anthro has great one. Revolve has great tops. Aster the label has great tops. And, or, and other stories, Zara and Express. I bought plenty from any of these places. And they're always my go-to when like going out or I want something a little dramatic or something like that. Amazon has some great one shoulder or off the shoulder tops. If you're looking for more budget friendly ones, I would start there. They have some great ones. 
Um, if you're looking for something with cotton in it, like I said, I, I think I did a video on ways you can shop for like if you're on H&M and stuff like that, you write the word cotton and anything with cotton in it's going to come up. I believe you can do that with Amazon as well. If there's a certain material you're looking for, like a silk or something like that, type that in and you can get like a silk top for something that's a little bit more budget friendly when you're on those bigger websites it kind of becomes overwhelming and that's maybe an easier way to find the material that you want those are great ones i found great ones i love zara for statement tops they always have them i always keep like like this one i had for years but i always keep like five or six like different type of statement tops that i can even throw with shorts like if i wanted to um, any kind of skirt, pant, jean, it always looks good. And it's like, you don't even need to think. You just throw on that top, you throw your hair back, or you do something with your hair and it always looks good. So statement tops are a must in the fall wardrobe essentials. So let's move on to number five, statement blazers. Okay, so everyone's probably got their black blazer. And if you are an oversized blazer, person, that's fine. Or if you're more of a tailored, uh, fitted type blazer, that's fine. You just need the basics. So you've got the black one. So I would look into maybe a khaki or a tan, maybe espresso, like a brown, a navy. I have a navy, like thin pinstripe. The pinstripe is very thin in it, but I like it. And that's considered still um, a wardrobe staple. Also, I would pick up maybe of some type of plaid. You know, you can do the plaid with the all denim look. You can do the plaid with a black uh, turtleneck. It just looks good. Um, and, and anything that is plaid always reads to me fall and winter. So I just love that look. It can go with dresses. Um, it can go with anything, a skirt, leather pants. It's just always like elevate. So you need at least one type of plaid. So find the plaid that you like. There's plenty out there. For any kind of blazers like khaki or blue or tan, any of those, Quince is a great one. They have lots of different blazers, affordable. Zara has great ones. J. Crew, if you start to get the pricier, uh, if you want a pricier one, J. Crew, I love their blazers. Banana Republic. Also remember affordable. Banana Republic Factory and J. Crew Factory are great too. Don't forget about those. Those are pretty affordable. They always have like 25 or 35, something like that percent off. So those are great sites. Um, Anthro has great, like different type of plaid. Uh, they just have great blazers, like statement blazers too, if you're into that. I love Aritzia's Babylon blazers. I love the new nipped in, tucked, like it tucks, it like nips you in. That one is so beautiful. I love that. I'm almost on the fence of buying one of those because I just think they're just so unique. It's very structured. I like it. I don't have anything in my closet, so that is on my mind maybe to purchase. But anyways, get a statement blazer. And if you already have a black and tan, try to add a navy or a plaid. Um, it will take you a long ways. Number six, cozy type sweaters. You want a V-neck classic sweater, definitely, and you want a crew neck. You also might want to add like a cable net, a fisher net, a fisherman's type sweater. It's like a type of cable net. That adds a lot of texture, which I like when you're, uh, maybe you're not wearing a blazer. That just adds a lot of texture. The fabrics I would definitely be looking for is cotton, cashmere, a wool blend of some type all kinds of colors you can go like most people have their blacks definitely start to look in the tans and the browns and the navies burgundies um champagne type colors a cream definitely needs to be in there for sure i would say maybe like a cropped shrunken type cashmere sweater would be good to add you probably only want one oversized sweater i don't think you need a lot of oversized sweaters so the places to look for them at Quince, Everlane, Madewell, Nordstrom's. Obviously, the price point at Nordstrom's you can do from less expensive to real expensive. Now, you can look at H&M. I just find their cashmere or some of their cotton to be a little expensive. Gap, you can look at Gap. They have a lot of cotton sweaters. 
um, like a striped sweater would be great to add. I mean, some of these places, I don't know. You got it's a little iffy, but I would definitely look if you go to like an H and M, put cotton. Gap, I'd say, like maybe Banana Republic factory. Those start to get a little, the Banana Republic is a little bit more ex, on the expensive side. So if you're looking for a bit more of a budget friendly, I would look at Banana Republic factory or J. Crew factory. They have great sweaters. They also have, J. Crew factory has a lot of colors. If you're interested in like maybe adding a pink or a yellow or something like that, if you're into a lot of color and you have all your basics, it's a great place. Okay, number seven, the classic cardigan. It's a hit or miss. They're in, they're out. I wouldn't buy a ton of them. I would buy a, I wouldn't call it oversized by any means, but I would buy one that hits below the waistline. And then I would definitely have more of a cropped one. I have just found the cardigans that are pretty thin. They're like, they're cashmere like at Target. They are so freaking soft. I don't know what they're doing. They have a shell and a um, cardigan. They're really thin. They're great to even layer with like a tee or a tank top underneath and then add a blazer to it. They are like $20. I mean, I cannot believe, I cannot express to you how soft they are. Like I want to come home and put on my Viore pants and I want one of those tops on because it is so soft. I could sleep in them. Anything from that universal thread, cashmere-like line. They have some sweaters, some button-ups, some v-necks. Now, all their colors are, I don't like their cream colors. A lot of them have like different kind of yarn, colored yarns in it. That's not my favorite, but I love their black. I love their gray. I love their khaki. Their burgundy one, I believe I like. I think that's all the colors that I liked. And that it, some of their red is a little too, I don't like it. It's a little off. Definitely Quince has some great, like just basic colors. Aritzia, again, Everlane, Madewell, and J. Crew. But like I said, I would have one that's a little bit more of a cozy type. And then I would have more of a cropped shorter type that you can wear under blazers and stuff like that. That's a little thinner. Just those two would probably be enough. You don't need 17 long and, you know, all the way down to the ground and to your knees. I just don't, I don't feel like you can do, you can do outfits with it. And that's not what I'm saying, but I just feel like these would take you further enough. Like they, these will take you far without adding all the super long ones and all that these and i would do a very neutral color uh like some kind of taupe or a cream or something like that I highly recommend checking out the target cashmere line i like i said i will have some stuff listed below of my favorites definitely but ugh, i can't beat that 20 dollars cardigan it's so nice i went back and got three more colors that okay let's talk about trousers shall we okay you need a high-waisted polished trouser they are coming out i'm gonna tell you right now they're coming out with some fabrics that feel like sweatpants gap has a pair i'm going to order i keep saying i'm gonna order and i haven't been online to gap to order them but i want them they look like trousers somebody was telling me they are so good and they were so comfortable and they come in a different length so if you want to wear like a taller heel you can I'm so interested in things that look like a trouser but feel like loungewear. I mean, I'm so into that. But you need more of the like trouser trousers. You need them high waisted. You need them kind of fitted. I have several pair. Abercrombie has great, and they come in different lengths, and that's what I love because you can get a short. You can get their. I think this is their classic. They got super tall, tall, classic, and they got super short. I mean, they've got something for everybody. Depending on what shoe you want, I have different types that I have. So if I have some that I wear with flats, I get the regular and then I do the long when I want to wear a heel or a, like a boot that has a heel. But Abercrombie, their trousers are really nice. Also, Aritzia Effortless, those are nice. Along with my favorite daughter, those are super long. I'm just going to be honest. You'll probably have to get them hemmed if you're on the petite side. They are so nice. They're, they're very, very, they're expensive. They're over the 200 marker. I want to say like 248 marker price. Don't think you can't find some trousers. You can find some trousers even at Gap or try Nordstrom's, something like that. But I like to have different types of trousers. I've got plenty of black and tan or khaki. I have some blue, but I'm looking into getting 
maybe like a gray, a gray pinstripe is kind of what I'm, I'm wanting or like something with like a wool in it, maybe a black or gray and white where it's kind of a tweed. I kind of want to add something like that because that's still a neutral. You can get a gray tweed trouser and put a, a black turtleneck or black t-shirt with a black blazer and put some flats or you put some heels with it. And it looks like you can go to work or you can do a lot of other things. You can also put some white tennis shoes with any of those trousers to make it more like relaxed looking. You could put your t-shirt, you could put your cardigan on it to kind of relax it a little bit and make it a little bit not so work environment like. Add the basics, the white or the blacks, the, um, the khakis and the navies, and then start adding the grays and the different type of tweeds or wool into it. So number nine, let's talk about athleisure leggings. Yeah, we need those. Um, so when I'm talking about athleisure, something that you're not working out in, you want a pair that you're not working. So you can go to the airport, you can run errands, you can put a blazer on and then throw your white tennis shoes or you can do, there have so many colored tennis shoes right now that are so cute, that are suede. Has Sam Edelman made them or something? They're like, they're khaki and they're tan and they're suede, they're so cute. But they're, they're coming out with so many tennis shoes. I love it. You can wear them with anything. But the athleisure leggings. So you need a pair that when, you need to run around, you want an airport look, you want an elevated look with leggings, you can do that. I would also add in leggings, like maybe in the navy color or a chocolate brown, I think would be great to add for the fall wardrobe. I also think adding more of the pant type leggings with the split hem in the front or the legging, or it's more of a pant that has a flare at the end, at the bottom. Lululemon, CRZ Yoga on Amazon has great ones. The Ori, I, I, I love them. I absolutely love them. Athleta has a bunch of pairs that look like they're athletic, but I would get a pair that you only wear for certain times. You're not always wearing them to work out in. I would get a, if you already wear a lot of Lulu, I would get a fresh pair just to keep for when you want to put an actual outfit with it. So that is number nine. Okay, number 10, dresses and skirts. And I'm talking like slip dresses or a slip skirt of some type. The slip dress, you can, and if you don't like to show your arms, this is where the cardigan comes in. This is where the sweaters come in. This is where the blazers come in. And then they can double as you got the blazer, you can also belt them which looks really good. You can wear your boots and you can wear your kitten heels and you can also wear your tennis shoes or your sneakers. Also the same thing, if you don't want to dress, you can also do the slip skirt. <clears throat> I would honestly go for a longer one than just like the knees because you can always roll them up or you can put the belt and kind of roll it under. I think they call it the tucky belt or whatever and make it shorter to the knees if you want. You have a little bit more options if you want that. Um, and if you want to wear a boot or something like that, you want more of your boot to show because it's, a, you know, like at the knee level, you can do that and kind of roll it up a little. But definitely I would do a navy chocolate brown or a black or like a champagne. Have you seen those champagne gold ones? So they're really pretty. That it would look great, great with like the tweed blazer, you know, the champagne with the tweed blazer and some brown boots will look stunning. The next one is denim <laughs> that I just rolled right over. Like we don't want denim. Yes, we all have denim. And yes, I'm going to say a straight leg is the most popular. It's the quintessential that's not trendy. Um, any color, pick your colors. They always say the darker colors, but if you're not that, or if you have a lot of lighter colors, color pairs, then go ahead and, and purchase a darker pair. But I would keep it to a straight leg. I absolutely love Levi's for that. I think for around under $100 or so around there, you can still buy them on Amazon for a little cheaper. I would, and they do have certain sizes like 29, 28, 32 in the links, different links. I love the rib cage ones. Those always look good with the straight leg. I also have the rib cage in the like full leg or 
I don't know what the wide leg is, I think what they call that I love in a lighter pair. I like the 501s. I like those too as well. But any kind of denim that is straight leg. So pick your favorite. Madewell has great ones. If you want to add a lot, I know wide leg jeans are in. I know the croft ones, kind of wide leg are kind of in. You can add those to them. Um, I know Levi's just came out with a corduroy pair of rib cage jeans, straight legs that are really cute. You can always add that. But I would say keep with the straight leg. I do have a lot of other ones, but I'm saying just for an ultimate fall wardrobe capsule, that is definitely, that can, and you can, you know, put a boot with them. Wear them with kitten heels. You can wear them all kinds of ways. So you can wear them with the sneakers. So you can definitely dress them up or dress them down. The last one, let's talk about staple shoes. That's number 12. What staple shoes do you need for an ultimate fall capsule wardrobe? Casual sneakers. I would say definitely an all white pair. You, a lot of people are wearing these Adidas Sambas or some kind of Adidas in different colors. Actually looks cute if you want to add a color to it. I mean, any place has a sneaker now. I mean, Dolce Vita has some really cool ones that are silver and gold. Steve Madden, if you want some portable. DSW has all of them. Amazon will have a bunch of pair to uh, a sneaker that is comfortable, that you can wear with a lot of things. I kind of want like like a khaki tan color is kind of what I'm leaning towards. So we'll see what I end up with. I've got a black pair, a white, and a one with like some gold on it. So I kind of need, I want, I kind of thinking I need like a tan color. And I found some like suede. Oh, Zara had some cute ones too that were kind of suede like. So anyways, pick up a sneaker because they're going to go with everything for sure. Sling back. So if you are a kitten heel wearer, I would do a sling back. You can do the higher heel. I got some, I think there were two and a half that I just got in that are really cute, super comfortable. Took them out of the box, warm several hours. Didn't have a blister on my foot, loved them. So any kind of sling back will do. Ballet flat or any kind of flat, um, a black, obviously a tan. Uh, I got a, a, a neutral with a cap, a cap of the toe is black that I wear with a lot of stuff. Uh, there's a mesh pair that are really cute from Target that I really like. I think they're like, I don't even know, $20, $25 that are really cute. But you can pick them up. Amazon, Steve Madden, Dolce Vita, Nordstrom's. I would also think about a chocolate, like a suede pair. That would be really cute. I think they had a weaved one at J. Crew that was really cute. J. Crew Factory that was really cute. I think it was around $50. That was really cute. That would go a lot. The the weave is uh, that I like because it adds some texture than just a flat. Um, I really like that. Loafer, you can add a loafer. I wouldn't really do like a super chunky loafer. I would keep it real simple. Um, you can find those at all different kind of price points as well. Um, I did see one on Amazon. Who was it? Let me see if I still have it. It was Life Stride. I don't know. They look kind of cute. So it was like $35. It was kind of a shiny textured finish on it. That's kind of what I like about it. Anyways, I I like loafers. I just like a more of a slick loafer or like a suede type loafer. Not one from Life Stride. It says it's very comfortable um, and it looks pretty good. I saw that um, Madewell had some and Everlane that kind of stuff, but you can get into $150. I mean, you can go to Dolce Vita or Nordstrom's, anything like that. They're going to have some classic pairs too. Tall boots. You need at least, at least tall boot. If you already have a black, try to get a brown, uh, brown, anything, brown suede, faux suede, a croc type texture to it, something with a texture to it because it just, uh, sometimes I feel like brown is kind of flat and then it kind of elevates if it has some kind of texture, like if it's a suede or something like that would be great for fall. But that is all I have for you. That is a wrap. If I say so, I don't know if you noticed, but I got my hair done. It's colored very dark. This is more of my natural colors. I just got a lot of low light. I don't know. It's feeling a little risky today. I guess I felt like fall. I thought I'm going to, um, it's 95 degrees today. So <laughs> If that tells you anything, it's really not fall here. I mean, the leaves haven't even really changed. But that is all I have for you. Make sure you subscribe. I'm building the community here. Until next time, bye.